Hello up there. Today we're going to look on operation on complex number. Complex number take a form of a plus bi, where a is a real number and bi is imaginary number. Imaginary i is the same as the square root of negative 1. Where if it's, you can say imaginary a squared is the same as negative 1. If you square square root of negative 1 is going to give you negative 1. If you are going to understand the operation on, on complex number, most you are going to use on i square is equal to negative 1. Let's start by, by looking on addition on complex number and subtraction. And subtraction. Let's by starting by one of example. Let's say two plus three i. We subtract. Say one plus two i. Solution is going to be. We first open the bracket. It's going to two plus three i. If we open a bracket here, it's going to be negative one negative 2i. Then the next step, we are going to collect like time. So it's going to 2 subtract 1 is going to be 1. 3i subtract 2i is going to be addition of i. Let's go another example. Let's say 4 minus 3i we add 3 minus 2i. This is going to be, we are going to open the bracket. So it's going to be 4i, 4 minus 3i plus 3 minus 2i. If we collect like times, it's going to be 4 plus 3 is going to give you 7. 3i minus 2i is going to give you minus 5i. Let's go on another operation of complex number on multiplication. Multiplication. Let's look on one of examples. Say 1 plus i multiply by 1. 2 plus 3i. This is going to be 1, you multiply by this function, it's going to be 2 plus 3i. Then we add, we take i, we multiply by 2 plus 3i into brackets. So if we're going to open the bracket, it's going to give you 2 plus 3i plus 2i plus 3i squared. But I hope you remember that, you recall that i square is the same as negative 1. So we're going to take 2, if you add here, you're going to be plus 5i plus 3. But we say i square is the same as negative 1. So we're going to put here negative 1. So it's going to give you 2 plus 5i minus 3. So the answer is going to give you negative 1 plus 5i.